お待たせ誰も待ってないけど。またまた、照れなくていいってば。な、咲くよ。何お前って昔からそんなに積極的だったっけえ積極的って、何もそんな。なんか僕の中で、咲夜の存在がブレてるんだ。どこか違うなっていうか。な、何をいきなり言い出すのよ。記憶がうまくつながらない。昔の咲夜ってもっと内気じゃなかったっけそりゃあね。人間ってのは変わるもんなのよ。そうなんだ。変わんない人は成長してないってことでしょ僕は。え何僕はちっとも成長してなくて、いつも咲夜とかみんなに迷惑をかけてばかりで。えちょっとちょっと、どうしちゃったのわからない。でも、今日の僕は、どうにもしようがない。ひなた。え、決めた。こんなとこで一人でうじうじしてるから気がめいるんだよ。どっか一緒に外へ行こう。えでも何か食べるもの買ってきてくれたんだろいいのいいのこんなの冷蔵庫に入れとけば。そうなのどこ行こうかないいよ僕具合悪いしだから行こうって言ってるんでしょめちゃくちゃだよ病は気から君は考えすぎそうだどこか何にも考えなくていいとこがいいかな At this rate am I going to end up as Sakuya's, at Sakuya's beck and call? で、結局こうなるとうんなんか言った別にサキヨは、レレンレス、アスキング、オーバーアンオーバー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、レストラン、ユーアイス、ゴーツー、アローン、ソウィエンディー、アッファミリー、ブレックフェスト、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アッファミリー、ウォーズ、アこうやって二人でお出かけすると、よく知ってる街もなんだか違った風に見えてくるよね。昨夜にはどう見えるんだそうね。街そのものがなんだかウキウキしてる。ほらほら、あの看板とか、広告塔とか。ホログラム仕様になってるだけじゃないか。A more technologically advanced form of video chat. Allows individuals to converse through a network by projecting each other's three dimensional figures into each other's space. Normally, this process just involves scanning one's image in real time, but more sophisticatedly coded programs can map virtual textures on top of that projected image. Currently, this technology is limited to the affluent or hackers possessing advanced skills. The spread of hologram chat is said to be the downfall of needing to meet people face to face. In the near future, performing an act using one's real body may become a luxury. <clears throat> Delicacy? Come to think of it, I heard someone say that recently. I wonder who I heard it from. Right, that girl. I heard it from Shinozuka Masumi. Boku, nai kana? Nani ga? Ima Sakuya ga itte ta ja nai ga. Delicacy da yo. そんなの全然ない。欠如。ゼロ。お手上げ。Well, I guess that settles that. ああ、傷ついた。<笑>ごめんごめん。<笑>でも、普段は確かにデリカシーないけど、ここぞという時にはちゃんと決めてくれるもんね。そうなのかなだって私、今でもナナのこと大事にしてるもん。ナナ That was the name of Sakuya's rabbit. And it was something that happened ten years ago. <laughs> she was crying all alone, as if she were a child who had lost her way. She walked with swollen eyes as red as a rabbit's. She looked lonely, sad, heartbroken. I couldn't leave her alone. At the time, I was brazenly juggling a soccer ball by myself while playing. By chance, the one I usually played with wasn't there that day. どうしたの昨夜。Wow, he has a very different voice. Well, 
as you should expect, of course. I dropped the ball and instinctively ran over to her. <laughs> Although she still had tears welling in her eyes, she looked at me curiously. It was the expression of someone very young, as if she were a baby. So, I hadn't seen her in a while, but I had memories of her often being led away by the hand of her scary looking dad. I remembered that whenever she and I played, Sakuya would always watch us enviously. Sakuya, Kawahara, Sakuya. So, no, no. Eh, was it just the moon? At, the, at that time, Sakuya looked at me as if I were a complete stranger. It might have been one of the cases of amnesia you heard about all the time on TV shows. I could see Sakuya's small eyes swaying as if she were desperately searching the depths of her memories, but... Not surprising, we weren't close. Sakuya's father was incredibly strict, so he wouldn't allow us to play together. I would invite her, and he would just grumble. But now... That didn't calm down Sakuya at all. On the contrary, she just cried even harder. Even now, despite all that's changed, I can still remember the heavy sadness I felt at that moment, like a weight pressing into my stomach. Her rabbit's her only friend? じゃあ、僕がさくやの友達になってやるよ。うん、そうだ。僕がひなたで君はさくや。二人は友達。あのね、あのね、私ずっとずっと迷子だった気がするの。だから私自分が誰だかここがどこだかわからなくなって。だから
being the kid that I was, I racked my brain over what to do. And then. じゃあ、僕だと思いなよ。うん。怖い時、寂しい時、辛い時は、これを僕だと思ってぎゅっと抱いてればいい。このうさぎが、ひなた。そういうことになるね。このうさぎは、ななで、ひなた。え、ひな
In the first place, where did he come from just now? The instant he says that, I hear something loudly snap within me. Such an absurd rejection. He kind of reminds me of Sakyo's father. Right then. Sakyo's bitter plea pierces my conscience like a rose's thorn. If I could think to ignore it, I, I would. But that thorn is definitely stuck in me. ひなた。Sakio grabs my sleeve before I can send my fists flying in the direction of my opponent. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is it a new method of stalking? Either way, he's dangerous. I stop mid-sentence, my tongue feeling like it's stuck in my mouth. He talked as if he knew me. Even so, I know nothing about him. Has something been going on around me while I've been blissfully unaware? Even though I just want to live a peaceful life, even though I just want to get back a life with Mutsuki in it. My childhood friend's eyes are beginning to gouge out my unconscious mind. Am I stuck in the middle of some maelstrom of incidents? If that's the case, then I absolutely can't get can't let Sakuya get involved. I speak to Sakio with words full of determination, so that Sakio, being as extremely perceptive as she is, doesn't think that I'm deceiving her. <sighs> Sakio was opposed to splitting up until the very end, saying, I'm worried about you, so let's be together. But I walked her home, managed to calm her down, and went back home by myself. The plants in the living room seem to be riding, uh, wilting. Do I have to take care of them in Dad's place? I already have my hands full as it is taking care of the cactus. Maybe I should give the decorative plants to Sakia. I think about this while watering the plants when something gently falls from the table. It's Dad's letter. The one that was left on the table, and the thing I've been doing everything I can to keep from entering my consciousness. I timidly extend my hand. Oh. It seems it wasn't sealed, as something slips out of the envelope. Of course, the white folded object is obviously the letter, but there's something else with it. Dad gave this to me. Those green pressed leaves lead my mind into confusion once, mo once more. A molecular biologist believes in the superstition that this is a good luck charm? I timidly try to read the contents of the letter. Dear Hinata, the object enclosed in this letter will become the final key to solving a certain mystery. It was grown in a place you and Mutsuki know well. If something happens to me, then I leave the family to you. I may not have done anything for you, but even so, you're a man. One day you'll probably understand what it is that I'm trying to do. In the last two years, I've used all means possible to investigate what happened to Mutsuki. The police never took the whole thing seriously. 
saying that running away from home for a long period of time isn't much of a crime. I know I said grim things to persuade myself back then, but I believe my daughter is alive somewhere. You seem to think the same. After all said and done, the two of you are twins. You've noticed something I haven't, no? When I said that your mother's medical treatment was progressing, that was true. They're preparing to do surgery now for that purpose. Also, I have a few honest comments that may trouble you about Kawahara Sakuya-san, whom, whom you know very well. It would be extremely comforting if I could just simply say I can't get along with her, much like her father, but... The situation is more complex than you think. I've never distrusted her pleasant disposition, not one bit. I think she's a wonderful girl with a good personality. The problem lies elsewhere. You might think I've lost my mind when you read these following words, but I feel there's a somewhat unnatural part about her very existence itself. You've probably realized this too. So I just have one piece of advice about the things I just said. Awaken, Hinata. Accept everything. Your talents are analyzing and reasoning, so discover the truth. Mitsuhiko Shamash Tou-san I can't move for a short while. Even though every single word of the letter is entering my brain like photons forming a photograph, I can't understand their meaning. No, something is preventing me from understanding it. I try rereading it countless times. The important words flicker into my head one by one. Mutsuki, Mom, Sakuya, and didn't he say to rely on Yayoi-sensei if anything happens? Why am I shaking so much? Because it's something left by Dad, who really talks? So why did he leave such a wordy letter behind after he'd left? It feels like something's grabbing onto my heart, like I'd been hit on the head with a crowbar. Accept everything? In that case, is it telling me to even accept the subtle will in this letter? I hear the sound of the world crumbling away. Even if this buzzing is nothing more than the sound of my inner ear reacting to a blood flow there, it's the same to me. It's the end of this world. Can I do something? Even though I'm nothing more than a high schooler? This morning, I was chased about by this weird man who drove a jet black supercar, just what is going on around me? Tell me, Dad. Why couldn't you talk to me? Why did you leave me something so important in a letter? Now I can't ask you anything, can I? Now then, were you trying not to see him? Or trying not to talk to him? Which was it? <laughs> well, that's weird. <laughs> Time vacantly begins to pass by. I wish it could just continue to pass like this. I have school tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, I'll see everyone. By engulfing myself in my ordinary school life, I don't need to think. That's right. When tomorrow comes, everything will surely turn out fine. When tomorrow comes. So I've come here once again. Even though I know no one is here. Even though I know there's no way she will be here. What am I looking for here? What do I want? Am I trying to create something out of the scattered fragments of my memories? What I truly desire is... でも君は本当に無月なの。どこか遠くの見知らぬ異国で野ざらしになっていたとしたら、お兄ちゃんは一人に来てくれないのそんな、行くに決まってるだろうだったら、私が生きてるか死んでるか、そんなことに肯定するなんて意味なくないムツキ
言うにこと書いてなんてこといいのよ私はどうせお兄ちゃんの夢の中にだけしかいないんだからそんなことないムツキはきっとどこかにいるそうだろ君はそう言いたいんだろ月うさぎみたいに隠れてるのかもねえお兄ちゃん月にうさぎはいるのそんなことねっさあ It seems I fell asleep on the sofa. Dad's letter is spread out before me, and lying by the letter are those small green pressed leaves. A clover. Normally they have three leaves, but there's a small chance they'll mutate and have four to five leaves. Such vague DNA. It can't survive when all that's left of it is its vertebrae. Even so, the fact that it allows the species to continue existing so wonderfully means that rather than calling it vague, it could be called highly adaptable. What feelings did Dad put into this clover? No matter how I look at it, it has no special qualities to it, save for the four leaves. Is there something hidden in a part I can't see just by looking? The words from my dream surface in my mind. Perhaps that might be right. I put the clover in the now folded letter and gently put it back in the envelope. Right now, it's past three at night. Such a, such a strange time to wake up. I don't think I can go back to sleep again. It feels like the seconds of my day couldn't crawl by slower. Uh, seconds of my day off couldn't crawl by slower. Anyway, just as I'm thinking I should take a shower and shut myself in my room. Mutsuki. I turn. Of course, no one is there. But over there is. And on this creepy cliffhanger,、uh, I'm going to stop for now. It's a bit、uh, short. But, um, uh, I just don't feel like continuing right now. But, um, maybe it'll be longer next time. So, uh, until then, bye.